Hi guys, so I decided to do August favorites. I've been watching other YouTubers do this and it made me very nostalgic to like 2012, 2015 YouTube era. So I was like, why not do my own? I really love the La Roger Effect Lar Medicaid Gel Cleanser. Yeah, this is my favorite cleanser. I ran out a few days ago and then I ran to Target to get another one. Um, but basically this cleanser has really saved my life. I use it morning and night, but if it feels a little too harsh in the morning, I just use water. I asked on Instagram for help because I was like, help me. Help me. Help me. Because I was so frustrated with how my skin was looking. So a lot of people recommended La Roger, so I started using it. And it's been really nice. I love this cleanser. I had, a, like, I think a year's worth of tretinoin from Egypt. I was not here to play. Let me, let me show it. Yeah. I literally got a year's worth of tretinoin, 5%. Literally, I packed as much as I could when I went to Egypt and so I have enough to last me I think like a year and a half if I'm very careful with how much I use but I still need to go on a hunt to find something to replace this soon I have a different brand from Egypt um, it's called acne free let me show you that one so this is acne free it is a very popular tretinoin that is used in Egypt as you can see, it's really, it's really obvious that it's from abroad and I was so happy. I think I have four of these and one of this. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to switch to acne free. So I've been using just tretinoin once every four days. Oh, and my favorite body cream, don't call me a grandma, okay, is Nivea. It's very obvious, but ever since uh, my eczema cleared up and I was able to use perfume lotion, I just picked up Nivea and I went from there and I just really love this. I love the way it smells. I like the Chanel Number no. 5 perfume if it explains anything because I really like baby powder scent, fresh linen. Like I love very fresh scents so I really like Nivea and it's really nice. Like I can't wait till winter comes. I've never been so excited for winter in my life because I'm just going to be using Nivea just like pumping it and just like spreading it around but it's it's like it's crazy because if you've never had eczema you don't understand how amazing it feels to use something as simple as Nivea so this is one of my favorites and then for makeup I have to say the CoverGirl Clean Fresh I feel like a beauty guru today yeah there you go okay so <laughs> this is the man ha I got it so yeah, this is the Clean Fresh um, Tinted Moisturizer. Again, I got it off of TikTok. There was a girl who recommended the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk, and she uses it as a foundation. It does not cover nothing. So if you have really bad acne, I wouldn't recommend this, but I've been using this to replace foundation. Like, I'm wearing the skin tint right now. So when I started wearing this combined with the concealer, I feel like really fresh, and it gives like a shine that feels really nice. So I feel like on everyday occasions, I'm just going to start wearing this. But the only problem is though, the shade that I bought was the second to last shade. So this is deep dark and I think the last shade is called dark or something. If you could find it at Ulta and swatch before you buy it, that would be great. And then my next favorite was The Woman Code. So this book has really saved me. I basically read this and I stopped at fertility because I didn't care about that. I wanted to learn how to make my periods less painful and to work with my cycle. I actually made a PDF um, design, so I'm going to show you the PDFs that I made to summarize the four cycles. So I'm going to put it here while I'm talking. So basically, the four phases of your menstrual cycle kind of control how you feel, and there's not much you can do about it because a lot of times i would get really frustrated with why i wasn't in the mood to get things done in a certain week and then the next week i'd be very productive so reading this book really helped me a lot instead of like trying to force yourself to do things like a man most of the time it's important to kind of like accept your fate and just go with what phase you're in so i really like this book a lot um i'm going to give it back to the library because i already made my pdfs but yeah that's been a favorite another favorite has been my kindle so on my birthday i didn't mention it to you guys but my my siblings kind of pitched in money for me to get a kindle and it's been the best purchase like i think for the first time in many many years i've been finally able to read and i think it's because like you know when it's nighttime and the lights are off and you're trying to go to sleep 
instead of scrolling through my phone on TikTok like I normally do, I would read a book and it's been amazing. I've been reading a lot of um, spicy romance so I don't want to recommend anything to you. So basically, um, you know the Alien Barbarian series? I've literally read up to book 8 so yeah. Um, it's been a little repetitive, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the plot is very predictable but I like how the author kind of spices things around I guess. And then I read The Never King and The Scorn Princess. I have my issues with both. There's something about Scorn Princess where I really did not like how the author was very obviously trying to make the the mean girl in the story, the blonde, to be like the stereotypical blonde bully and the pick me is very annoying. The thing is the main character was also a pick me but the author was trying to make it seem like she was not the pick me, like she was the special one and the blondie was the pick me. I was just like okay but when i try to ignore that it was a really good story i liked it a lot like i would give it maybe a 6.5 out of 10. i'm not gonna be nice the never king was okay but like if something just didn't sit right with my spirit you know i feel like sometimes these romance authors will do a lot of scandalous stuff i will give the never king i mean like i read it really quickly i'm not gonna lie i read it really quick but i would give it a 5 out of 10. I'm sorry. Listen, these books, the, the thing is with spicy romance, a lot of times the writing is not very good. And I'm not really there for the plot. Most people are not there for the plot. We're just here for some romance, yeah? So it's like, it's not very good. So the English literature in me is telling me to give it a 5, so I'll give it a 5. <laughs> 5 out of 10. But what's funny is like, I've read I think 10 books in the last month. And I haven't read 10 books in like years so this has been the best purchase i've ever made in my life so i definitely recommend like getting a kindle because it's been pretty great um i also like how i don't have to haul a book around because i feel like when you carry a book around with you and you're trying to open it and read it people feel the need to come up to you and ask you what you're reading and i'd rather die than show them a cover of the alien series because that's embarrassing <laughs> Like imagine someone coming up to you thinking you're so philosophical and so unique. Oh, what are you reading, ma'am? Um, nothing. Can you go? Like it's so, it's so funny, but yeah. Sandman. Sandman is a great series. And you know what's so funny? I didn't realize I actually finished Sandman until I woke up the next day to watch another episode and it was done. I was so upset. Like um, I had it in my continue watching section at, on Netflix. And then when I try to click on it, it was done. So I don't know when season two is coming out. If it already came out, I need to do my research. But I really like Sandman because it was very unpredictable. One of the biggest reasons why I never finish shows is because if it's predictable, I'm not going to finish it. Because like if I can see a pattern within the first five episodes, I'm gone. But for Sandman, there was no pattern and it felt really, really great. So that's why I recommend Sandman. I think that's it. Um, yeah, but that's all I have. I'll see you in my future videos. Let me know what was a favorite of yours this August. Um, I'm really excited for fall, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not excited for winter, but I'm excited for fall because I really like the fall season when everyone's in a happy mood because the weather is getting colder. And I'm really excited to start wearing my beanies again. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. You're gone now. Oh, you come